All right, gang, free hand in this video. So you're warned, just like the T9 video, I'm fighting a springtime cold, and I have a bum eyeball right now. It's getting better, but it's kind of hard doing this. I'm already blind, <laughs> and I'm doing it with one eye. So anyway, let's talk about this. Never had one as a kid. Never had an opportunity to play with one as a kid. So none of my friends had this one. Uh, it was made, well, this one was made in the, the late 60s, I guess, early 70s. And I'm going by the original headlights that are two are still there, but uh, and the wheels. Now, the reason why I bought this is because. You know, I know a guy who wheels and deals in antiques and he specializes in older toys and he's got a trade shop and he had a bunch of his Tonka stuff sitting out outside his the door on a table and he had one of these and it was not in that great a shape. The roll bar on his was and I noticed it a lot too. Let me see if I can turn that another way to get the, oh there we go. His roll bar and I noticed a lot of them are split right in the middle. This one's not, thank goodness. Uh, he wanted to sell it, and I asked him what he was he asking for. So he it was missing headlights, it's missing both air tanks, the stack was broke, and the roll bar was cracked, and the handle that lifts and lowers the uh, scrape blade was missing. And I figured, you know, if I could get it for like. 40 50 bucks i was gonna buy it and then see if i could you know i knew i can get some of the missing parts but the handle i wasn't sure of he told me it couldn't take less than 125 dollars for for what they sell on ebay and i told him i said i can understand that i mean we got a good relationship and all that i said but you're missing major parts that you you might not be able to get and i don't know if what if yours would bring 125 on ebay and i offered he asked me what would i pay and i said i'm not going to offend you so i didn't offer him anything so the search began and look what I found. I found this one, paid a hundred dollars for it. Reason why I went ahead and paid up the, well, I shouldn't say pay up. Reason why I paid a hundred dollars for it is one, condition was really good. Uh, it was only missing one air tank, two headlights, and uh, that was it. Oh, and uh, in the exhaust stack. And so I knew I had uh, some air tanks and I knew I had exhaust stack, but I had to order headlights, and I should have ordered four, I only ordered two. Wasn't thinking about the age turning the clear headlights brown, so they really stand out. You can actually see it in this view here, and I'm not even close to it. Sorry for the shaking. So anyway, I get this, get it home. A couple days go by, and I go up into my shed and get my box of loose Tonka parts, which is getting really depleted. But I had the stack and an air tank, and I ordered the headlights. Again, should have ordered four, not two. And I popped the popped the air tank on, air filter on, and uh, the uh, stack. I didn't want to take it apart, so I fed it from the bottom up. And the stack is a little bit too big at the base for this. It's not a appropriately attached now I'll explain it in a second let's check this out so here's the front view I really like how the fenders are offset because of the the seat so you see the inner inner headlights are dirty brown the outer or brand new clear I got, I'm going to go ahead and, and have to buy another set of headlights because when I was putting this one in, it doesn't look like it's all the way in, but it is. Uh, I broke the tabs off of this one, one tab. So it's in there, but I'm scared it's going to eventually fall out. Now my error, I wasn't paying attention because I was just eager to get this sucker reassembled. This tank is hard plastic to where the original tank, which is in not that great a shape because like it's got a bite mark on it <laughs> that's that's what it does let's make but anyway it's the old rubber tank and the exhaust stack i fed it in it was a job i fed it in through here 
and pulled it out as much as I could and it stopped and it's not all the way in because if you know anything about these exhaust stacks they got a, at the bottom they got a little slit around it that w is supposed to c uh, seal it to the body and that's as far as I could get to get it to go up it will not move any further in or out and it's a little bit crooked but that's okay uh, I have one so that's that's the good thing about it there's the back missing the Tonka decal I think it's supposed to go up here maybe here but I like the iron plate on the back how it's riveted it's really cool shot of the scrape blade and it functions it's hard to do all this one-handed but it's in it's uh, operates well now like a lot of these older Tonkas I had to reset the wheel the tires onto the rims three of them popped on perfect I think it was this one I, I, I ended up having to take WD-40 and soak both sides and I still couldn't get it with my, my finger so I took a flat file laid it in this position here and I took a big wide uh, screwdriver and popped it back on I was scared I was going to break it and you know I have wheels but the uh, the caps I don't know how this these caps have nuts on them. I've never looked to buy those or, you know, pressed in nuts there. They're not real nuts, of course. But I didn't want to take it apart. I really didn't want to do that. Bottom side, really good shape as well. Now I got to looking. I wish I'd uh, looked at the T9 prices and, and I went to Wishbook online and looked at uh, ads online for Tonkas. This thing sold for like almost nine dollars new back in the 70s. Again, you know, cost of living, cost of production, and all that was a whole lot less back then. But, but I'm, I'm going to bet you that a, a lot of parents, when they looked at this, said, Man, that's too much for that toy. But now, I, I, you know, if they built this thing today, it'd be like 99% plastic and it probably cost you about 20 20 or 30 dollars that's an estimate i could be way off but so be it but anyway that's my scraper glad to have it I have no idea where i'm gonna stick it because the room that used to be my office is full of toys and stuff from my childhood that i've either had or reacquired all right gang that's it for this one Thanks for checking it out. Have a great day.